Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install mods in Beam and G Drive. If you find this video helpful, please consider to like this video and subscribe to my channel. In saying that, let's just jump straight into the video. Alright, so you guys already probably know how to download mods by going in game. Just open Beam Drive, hit the repository and subscribe to whatever catches your eye. Simple, right? But if you really want to level up your mod game, there's a better way. So what I'm going to do is walk you over to a site called modland.net it's packed with more vehicles maps and custom content that is just a lot better than the in-game options you can pretty much just download the mod files directly and drop them into your beam ng mods folder for instant access so what i'm going to do is walk you through the process all right so what we need to do is head on over to modland.net and once you're here we want to filter by game so once you're here click onto games and then we need to click onto beamng.drive at the time of recording, it's got a, over 122 million total downloads. You're going to probably uh, add war up here, just click out of that. And now we're over at beamng.drivemods. So what you find in here is vehicles from hypercars to monster trucks, real life replicas and wild custom builds, maps, huge open worlds, realistic cities, racetracks and off-road trails. And you can find them by just scrolling down looking at all the different categories. So we've got mods, boats, buses, cars, excavators, motorcycles, news, planes, tractors, trucks, you name it, they've got it all here. So as I st stated earlier, there's way more variety than the in-game repo, as you can see. And access to community-made content not available anywhere else as well. And also they've got frequent uploads and new mods added daily. So be sure to check them out at later dates as well. All right, now let's go ahead and start downloading and installing these mods. So, say if I want to do some cars, so you can see how many mods there are in here. So, there's over 18,000 different mods. And if we scroll down, we can see all the different mods in this section. And we can also add some mod filters as well. So, we can sort by last updated, date published, trending, ratings, likes. What I like to do is sort by trending. And you've got some more filters here. So we can do descending or ascending, time, today, last week of all time. We can do last week if we like. And another cool thing, we can see the comments in these as well. So you can see there's nine likes and two comments. Scroll down five likes, 15 likes and 24 comments. The Don's Challenger. So let's go have a look at this. So I want to click into it. Ads will appear on this site. And you can see more about the mod. You can see the file size, so yeah, 1.15 gigabytes in size and over 4,000 downloads of 24 comments. We can scroll down, see more about this mod. If we keep scrolling down, you'll be able to see the comments here. You can have a read by all the comments. And what I've noticed, a lot of people um, here do make some nasty comments for whatever reason. So yeah, just be wary of that. So this person here, I've actually used some of this guy's mods before in the past, not this particular one, but yeah, I see a lot of um, negative comments on these, so just take that with a grain of salt as well. All right, so if I want to go ahead and download this mod, I'm going to scroll up, and as you can see, it's over one gigabyte in size, so these mods are quite large as well. So yeah, scroll back down, and then they've got external download links. You can check out the is Discord here as well, and we've got um, yeah, a link here, so just click on the link like so, and then it'll say continue to external site. And also just a bit of um, a site, some site information here. So website at modsfire.com is not part of Modland. So just be careful when visiting external sites as we cannot verify their integrity as well. So go ahead and click on continue to external site. And here it is here, download file. This is the thing and it'll say, click the button below and generate the link for confusechally.zip. All right, then I'll say download link. You can see all the downloads here as well. All right, so here it is here. There's it, there is a few ads that pop up when you press the download link. So you can see it's 1.1 gig, 10 gig, 10 minutes to go. So, and what I like to do as well. So once this is downloading, I'm going to quickly go through. So I like to scan any files I'll get from this site. So there's a site called Virus Total here. So click into here and you can upload your download and it will scan for viruses for you. So yeah, as it states here, virus total, analyze suspicious files, domains, IPs, and URLs to detect malware and other breaches. Just go ahead and upload your file, but at the moment, at this point in time, max size is only 650 megabytes. 
So the mod I'm downloading is over one gig, so I might need to find a better site, but I use this site quite often, and it does a good job in scanning and detecting any viruses. I haven't found anything so far on this site, which is a good thing. Now, after you got your mod, we need to go ahead and install it. So open up Beam NG, and then click onto Repository, and then from here, click onto Mods Manager, and then you want to click onto Open Mod Folder on the far bottom right-hand side, and then drag that zip file into that mods folder. 